In this lesson, I'll show you how to add vectors using the triangle law. Just a quick note before we begin. To add vectors using the triangle law, we simply place them tail to tip and draw a line from the tail to the first vector to the tip of the second. Now, if that's confusing to you, I'll show you an illustration using the question underneath, which reads, consider two math students pulling on a sled. One student pulls with a force of 10 newtons, starting at north, headed 33 degrees towards east. And the other student pulls at a force of seven newtons, starting east, heading 15 degrees north. Find the total net force acting on the sled and the angle it makes with the x-axis. So what's interesting about this question is the way the angle is written. Normally you're given an angle relative to the x-axis, except here it's a little different and we'll discuss that shortly. But first, I want to demonstrate the tail tip method. So let me start by showing these two vectors on an xy plane. So that's y and x. We have the blue one, which I'll label A. And we have the red one, labeled B. Using the tail to tip method, this involves taking one vector, let's say this red vector, and placing it where the tip of the other vector lies. So the tail of the red one is at the tip of the blue one. And where the blue one starts and the red one ends is where the resultant vector will be. So this one, that's in black. And that's what we're looking for. We'll call that vector C. We are looking for the magnitude of C and the angle at which it makes with the x-axis, this one. That being said, starting north and heading east 33 degrees means that this part from here to here is 33 degrees. If we're starting east and heading north 15 degrees, that suggests that the angle from here to here is 15 degrees. Now normally when we add vectors up, we like to do it in reference with the x-axis. So rather than saying that this is 33 degrees, let's find out the angle from here to here. And that can easily be done by taking 90 and subtracting from 90, 33, which equals to 57 degrees. Notice how 15 degrees is already in reference to the x-axis, so we don't need to do that for vector b. So let me go ahead and erase the fact that this is 33 degrees. We know now that from here to here is 57 degrees and from here to here is 15 degrees. Now moving forward, since we're using the triangle law, let me recreate this Cartesian plane by making a triangle using the tail to tip method. And we know that the magnitude of B is given in the question as seven newtons. That will come in handy. So that's the magnitude of this red one. And the magnitude of this blue one is 10. In order to use the triangle law, we need to know at least one angle in this triangle. And that angle can be found by interpreting this vertex right here, from here to here. Remember that if vector B makes 15 degrees with the x-axis, then creating a smaller Cartesian plane right here, that means that from here to here is 15 degrees as well. Remember, if it started down here and it was 15 degrees, then it would also be 15 degrees if it was placed over here. This angle from here to here is 90 degrees. So I'll write down 90. So far we have 90 plus 15. And all we need to know is the angle that I'm highlighting in yellow now. Given what we know about parallel lines, if that is 57 degrees, then this too would be 57 degrees. Remember the alternating angle rule of parallel lines. So if that's 57, that's 57, therefore that yellow part is 33. So 90 plus 15 plus 33 makes 138 degrees being this angle from here to here, 138 degrees. The nice thing about this triangle, the one that we've just created, is that we have the magnitude of 
two sides and an angle in between. Whenever you have two sides that are known and an angle in between them, you can use the cosine law to find out the length of this, which will serve as the magnitude of our vector. The cosine law looks something like this, where we have c squared is equal to a squared plus b squared minus 2ab cosine c. This is important that you remember this. Because if this is side a, that's side b, then that's side c, which is what we're looking for as the magnitude. Filling in this formula, we have c squared is equal to 10 squared plus 7 squared minus 2 times 10 times 7 times cosine at an angle of 138 degrees. If you solve for C, which is not hard to do, let me show you how to do it on the calculator really quickly. So 10 squared plus 7 squared minus 2 times 10 times 7 cosine 138. Make sure that your calculator is in degree mode. That's the right side. And we square root both sides to get C is equal to 15.9. 15.9 newtons is the magnitude and the length of this line right here of our resultant vector. We still need to find out the angle it makes with the x-axis. So that angle right there. To do that, we already know the fact that from here to here is 33 degrees. We already know that. It was given to us in the question. What we can do next is use the sine law to find out that smaller angle, add it to 33, and subtract the sum from 90 degrees. The sine law looks like this. We have sine angle A over the length of A, sine angle B over the length of B, and sine angle C over little c. To use the sine law, we will take sine C over C. That's a complete ratio there. Sine C, the angle was 138, over the length of C, which we found to be 15.9. And since we're looking for this angle, that angle right there is capital B, since opposite of it is little b. All right, done sine B over the magnitude of B being 7. We will cross multiply, and then use sine inverse to find out the angle. 7 times this value. Make sure that your calculator is in degrees. Sine 138. That gives us 4.68 is equal to 15.9 times sine B. 15.9 times sine B. We divide both sides by 15.9. That and that cancel out. So the value on our screen divided by 15.9. Now we take sine inverse of this value. Sine inverse of the value we just calculated and it's 17.1. So this angle right here, angle B is 17.1. We know that the angle from here to here is 33. 17.1 plus 33 is equal to 50. And since we want the angle that it makes with the x-axis being this brown one, we subtract this value from 90, which equals roughly 40 degrees. So this angle is 40 degrees and to represent your final answer, you'll write down 15.9 newtons at an angle of 40 degrees. And there you have it. That is how to use the triangle law to add vectors. If you have any further questions, let me know in the comment section, and I'll gladly create another video for another example. Talk to you later.